Alright guys, update to my store. New music, as you can tell. It is sped up because when I tried to upload the music without the speed up, it was copyrighted by Roblox. Even though this is supposed to be a non-copyrighted music. But after speeding up, it seems to go through. So, you can actually see the music. And also here, I'm not sure if you saw the stream. But if you see here, this one's actually unavailable for tap. You can only insert on this type of tail. Because, uh, so every other ones are working because the software is working properly. This one, the software is actually not working. And we're still working, still trying to develop a software to get tap to work again. Technically. And yeah, so I got this here because these are literally the self-checkouts, which is linked to that. So the receipt will work on this game. You will get it regardless. And the Christmas update has to be removed, as you can tell. Nothing else has really updated my store, as you can see. Still got the DOS tills, which I, they are un unchanged. Of course, the logo here, the DOS logo has been changed to my cafe, of course. But it's Surface UI, so DOS is fine with that. Of course, the US elevator, which the flying, which has the lanterns. Oh. No. What? Of course, we still got these consoles here and the Apple TV. I forgot to change the sign, by the way. I will do that later, off camera. Oh, and this music's copyright, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Alright. So we still got the fire line panel here. Oh, wrong card. I'm waiting for the timeout. And then reset. No. I reset so fast that this store didn't have time to open. Nice. And this store didn't have time to open either. But, the fire service definitely had time to activate. There's no way when you get the new key switch working with the motor bay fire service. It's not going to work properly. Because it only works with a single elevator. Alright. No. And of course you can add a custom you can add, you can play custom sounds through it. Got no. we got the bank here, which what? nothing has really changed about. Nothing has really changed. As you can see. So going back in here, oop, did not mean to trigger that. Luckily, she, luckily it doesn't get stuck anymore. Uh, in here, this two used to be out of order, and now it's working again. And here, right here, we got the out of service sign, so we can use it in case if any of them time out. So, so you just have to to work in contact with it. See, and I just put this here. Once you item scan and paid for it, just, they are not rescannable. Close to go to regular checkout with cash and card. And then the express checkout was our only card only. Alright. Nothing else has actually ha uh, really happened to here. It's mostly the same. We'll see the same. No, so you got my office here. 
and that's gonna be it for this door. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this door. And now, and now we will do an update to my hotel. So the last last part I meant the game. This now to my hotel game. We're gonna be showing updates of that as well. All right, we're just waiting for it to load in, as you can see. It always takes a while to it always takes a while to open. There we go. Now we're gonna join your server. So, up. So, I think my store is to the Coney elevator. What the? There we go. Okay, now it decides to work. Now, now it decides to work. We still got the new icon, of course, for displaying. So the update to here. Not sure if you mentioned as mentioned in the stream. Okay. Oh, it takes delay. Normally. There we go. <coughs> this fire service finally works on here. So. See? On. Off. On. And now. Because the original key switch was actually broken. Come on. Here we go. And the floor pass chime is disabled in fire assist mode. And yes, I fixed the custom labeling on the floor indicator. See the door is open. You have to actually press the door, but open button. Okay, so so go into back into here, and then if we turn it off, if we turn it to another firefighter. It will recall to that floor. All right, now we reset it before this. Is. Just wait for them to close, and there goes the doors. All right, uh, we do have updates with the trees being in the pool area, of course, and also the outside as well. Oh, and my developer has actually done all the floors, finally, for the beds. So, this will be soon to open up. Uh, bet he did the other side as well. Yes. So, and of course, he did the bathroom as well. Oh, that's having to open up fine. And see, we got the toilet, the sink, the bathtub and the shower, and the sink. Let's close that. So, yeah, the, oh, yeah, the grand opening of this hotel is going to be very soon. We already got the floor set up for the, this system here already. But we hadn't opened it up yet. It's going to be opened up on uh, January 10th because before we, we, we need to have a lot of time to finish this. And I don't think we were technically fully finished. Uh, fully finished because... Uh, technically, we do need to put more updates to here. Like, uh, the one thing is, so these LEDs do indeed work, as you can see. So the one thing I've I never test is to see if the room key will work. 
and it does. But one thing is, one thing. So once we open this up, you will see everything that you see on the video. So you can see here. I might soon integrate the the staff room card to the staff card. Because it's actually, it's actually getting a bit annoying that it's separate. Makes sense to separate the lock card. Makes total sense. So. Yeah. Updates to my store and my hotel. As well. So I think, I think we will actually put like a hotel name on the top as well. Not just the bottom. And we're going to put the name on the top as well. So. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys here. Goodbye for now.